welcome back to my channel again and I hope you enjoyed the previous video but today's video is a little bit different because it's not my usual vlog so before we delve into this video I want to say a huge thank you to Annalisa for sending me this all the way from New York I'm really grateful and honored for these uh, pretty jewelry pieces to be delivered to me so as you can see I actually already opened the package because I was really excited which is why disclaimer um, some of the way um, the pieces are packaged may not be how it was actually packaged originally yeah I hope you don't mind that I will unbox it with you all once again okay, so when you open the package it actually look like this it will have this brown box and then you know I already torn this here so yeah and when you open it's something like that there's a little cute card um, which says hi Lauren we are super excited to be partnering with you so talking about partnership I would like to address that um, whatever that I'm saying right now um, although this is sponsored it's actually uh, truthful reviews because I believe it's very important to be genuine yeah so it's really cute over here I'll cover the QR code I really like that they have very cute packaging to house the small beautiful jewelry pieces and generally their pieces are suitable for date nights, interviews or when you want to hang out with your friends. So if you plan to give this to your friend, parent, partner or child and you're unsure of what to get, I personally recommend the letter necklace which is one of their best sellers. Also, fret not because there's also a gift guide on their website which can help you browse the most gifted options. Anna Luisa crafts high quality jewelry at affordable prices. Their designs are unique, making customers feel empowered and elegant. Besides, they are also carbon neutral from packaging to products so it is less harmful to the environment. As you check their website, more information in the description box below. Well, what is self-care and why is it so important? Taking good care of yourself both mentally and physically is a form of self-care. You don't necessarily need to spend so much just to take care of yourself. Simple things like waking up early to start your day after getting some good quality sleep just like I did is just an example. Personally, I think that a great start to my day will be feeling energized after a good night's rest then make my bed afterwards. It's just something small but it can make you feel happier as you become more productive and get that sense of achievement, you know. I'm not a morning person, so waking up anytime before 8.45 in the morning is something I can be proud of. I love opening the windows to get some fresh air and for the sunlight to enter. It just makes my room brighter. I also try to make my room tidy whenever possible. It's also good to have to-do lists so you can focus on things you want to achieve better. This and journaling helps with decluttering your thoughts. I tried making use of my time during the holidays to do things I love or fulfill things I normally can't do during the hectic semester. You guessed it, reading. I attended several dance classes too. And of course, practiced after class because I want to get better at it. Next, colouring and painting has been something I loved doing as a child. So, I was just thinking, hmm, actually, why not do that? So, I grabbed my colour pencils and this colouring book which has been collecting dust on my shelf. This book was bought years ago. I loved how it has a storyline to it. This somehow feels like I can make the story come to life after adding colours. Quoted from the internet, colouring induces the same state as meditating by reducing the thoughts of a restless mind. This generates mindfulness and quietness which allows your mind to get some rest after a long day of work. 
that is self-care without pampering your skin, right? It's been so long since I've put on a face mask. When I did, my face definitely felt more moisturized. Such an unglam moment. Anyways, I like putting on masks while doing my work or while watching my shows because this saves time. This drama that I'm watching is called Business Proposal. The chemistry of the actors are amazing. Make plans with your friends, family and partner for example. Have a good catch up with them and find out how they are doing. Spend some quality time with your loved ones to maintain healthy relationships. No. It cracked. What will they think about me? What will they say? Will they turn their head and walk the other way? Will they whisper hey? Come up with activities to do together. Explore new places to visit, eat, and take pictures. Side note, the food here is very tasty. It's like a buffet style. We can choose our sauces too. We can do both BBQ and hot pot individually. That's what's unique about this place. We just eat lots of food. According to Health Hub, it is important to surround yourself with family and friends for support and comfort in both times of joy and distress. If you're wondering, this is located at 321 Clementi. The place is called La Jiang Shan. Studies have shown that having supportive relationships is a strong protective factor against mental illnesses and it helps to increase our mental well-being. Yup, retail therapy can be enjoyable. Oh yes, these were pieces I've thrifted at Project Anew, which donated their profits. I've spent a total of 12 sing dollars for 4 pieces of clothing. That's a steal! Can you believe it? Other than that, I've recently also been to many thrift and pre-loved vintage stores. The vibe there is different and I like that we are reducing clothing waste. If you haven't already, try going on a solo date. You heard it. A date with yourself. Spend some time alone and appreciate the moment. Enjoy the peace and treat yourself with a nice meal. So I decided to eat alone at Saizirin. So this is the crowd. Technically there's no crowd because it's at like 5 something. I mean 6 o'clock. So the, the crowd isn't here yet. Especially since it's our Wednesday. I used to be so afraid of people judging me and was scared to be seen alone. But now, I love it. Not the judgments, but the fact that I gained confidence and courage to choose to be alone. I realized that not everyone is interested in your life. Your, as in in general. That also means that no one actually cares even if they see a stranger being alone. And of course, spending quality time is important, especially you know with your loved ones. Anyways, I just wanted to give a shout out to Anna Luisa for this bracelet that I'm wearing, which complements my outfit for the day. It's a piece that's very easy to match with, definitely making me feel a little classy right there. Hi guys, I'm at Jam right now. So they actually uh, opened an outlet here recently, a few months ago. But I was supposed to go for their grand opening, but uh, I couldn't make it because of schoolwork. So right now I'm here at Jam. Uh, you can visit them at level 1. It's near... It's near Monster Curry actually. And I think it's, it's a really... 
Oh, level 3 Yeah, and it's a really good opportunity for me So I'm very grateful because it's kind of like my first time, you know uh, Yeah, and here is Anna Luisa Jewelry as well You can go and check them out, yeah Oh yes, uh, also because, you know, of the recent Mr. Coconut craze So I think If you know you like coconut and avocado, you should come and try um, And I got the Co coconut and avocado shake which is quite popular here it's just located over there at Jan if I'm not wrong it's at level 130 yep exercise I prefer exercising in the morning because I feel more productive then I can also breathe in some fresh air it doesn't always have to be the most tedious form of exercise. This holiday, I did mostly hiking or walking and workouts. A little effort every day would pay off eventually. If you want, wear a watch or in my case, a Fitbit to track your steps and heart rate. This helps me feel more motivated. I came across many new places and scenic views while walking too. There are so many benefits gained when you exercise regularly. Exercise releases chemicals like endorphins and serotonin that improve your mood. Once you practice self-care, you realize that your mood changes and you perhaps feel less overwhelmed. You just feel better about yourself. That's all for this video. I hope you've learned some things about self-love and self-care. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon. Bye!